honestly, this exactly looked like the market that my grandma used to take me when I was a kid. And then we're gonna get a chicken, a whole chicken. Wow, look at that. Oh, it is really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bianca's cooking still is really... Is there anything you want to say? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> Okay, first thing first, let's get a coffee. Can I have a cappuccino to go, please? It's okay. Thank you. And then you have a coffee. The coffee is about 90% of the time. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Bianca. We're going to a market. Uh, this is a market where they ship all different type of like Chinese veggies all the way from China to Chiang Mai. So this is my friend Reina, and uh, she's gonna be taking me uh, there. Right now it is 8 a.m. It's quite early, but since they're selling all those like fresh stuff, so we have to be there a little bit earlier. And also I just woke up, my face is so swollen up. Did I do my makeup? So put this mask on for you guys so you don't have to see my disturbed face. <laughs> okay, we're almost gonna be there and she said everything over there just looks super pretty, super neat and clean. Really looking forward to that. Also, also, I do want a very, very specific veggie that I wanna uh, buy today and bring it home to cook it for my friends because I'm leaving soon in Chiang again and this time I'm gonna be Leaving Thailand, we're going to Kuala Lumpur. Probably gonna be staying in Malaysia for like yeah, a month. Who let's see my hair? Yeah, sorry, she did the shit. I think it's Jojie. I'm The city is waking up. We got a kosoi breakfast here. See, people already finished their shopping. On the way back home. Ah. What are the ceiling here? This is the Thai local morning life for you. This is so local. Uh, yes. Wow. Mm. Yes. She really wants this. I think this is called mango something. How? <gasps> Look at that. They're selling goat. Goat meat. And chicken. What is this kid is doing? Oh my god, that is some giant pineapple over here. Seriously? This one is only 25 baht. And it's literally much much bigger than my feet. This one's 10. It's too cheap, you can buy one. You can buy it in Chinese, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna come back and get it later because it's just way too heavy. Other people are also like filming right here. <laughs> More veggies. This is avocado. Hey. What? <laughs> so long. <laughs> I need some sleeper like this. <laughs> oh, here are so many things. Really. Oh, really oh my God. <laughs> Here, this is exactly what I want. I haven't seen this veggies for like two years. And then we're gonna get a chicken, a whole chicken. Okay. 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 Okay.
This is literally so cute. It's avocado. <laughs> but it looks like cucumber, right? Yeah. It looks exactly like cucumber. Look at this. It's hilarious. Ceiling bow here. It's cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, avocado has all kinds of shape here in Chiang Mai. Uh -huh. Okay, Rena here, she's hungry. We're gonna have some breakfast. And look at this egg. So you got you scrabblings. Oh my god, look at this. Pickle, all different types. Okay, so this is kind of like the food corner. Honestly, this exactly looks like the market that my grandma used to take me when I was a kid. This looks really, really good. This is like dark bone uh, chicken and you got some like rice noodles. Okay, so I wasn't planning to have breakfast at all because normally I don't do breakfast, but Rina just kept uh, telling me this one's really good. Pickled Chinese cabbage. Ah, pickled Chinese cabbage. cabbage. Okay. Okay, so I was just asking uh, Rina, how do you call this thing? They have pickle everywhere. But in China or in Thailand, we got all different kinds of pickle stuff, and this is like actually pickle Chinese cabbage. So yeah, wow, this is really good. I tried some of hers and was like, okay, I'm not hungry at all, but I really want one. So here we go. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's not often. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. You know, yesterday we had this like a um, hot pot thing and it was super, super heavy, very salty. That's why uh, this morning when I just woke up, my face is always super swollen up after I had this like heavy meal. And yeah, in the morning. Rina is feeding me some more salty stuff. <laughs> we'll keep swallow for the whole day. Alright, we finished this amazing breakfast. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else can we get here. Ah, this one too. Ah, but this one too. 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 Have some eggplant, and this is goes perfect with uh, minced pork. I'll show you guys how to make it. It's super super good. Ah, this is chow tai. Uh, not that sweet pork. Sweet tai. Uh, ah, this is called sweet tai. Sweet tai. Ah, 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 Watermelon. <laughs> it is so cute. It's so small. Ah, uh, this is Dong Gua. Oh, eh? This is Dong Gua. Yeah, this is Xiang Dong Gua. Oh, Xiang Dong Gua. Okay. This is a different type of melon, but you have to cook that. It's perfect to make like soup. You will choose, ma? Do you know how to pick? <laughs> you just look like you're playing. Maybe you can ask it. <laughs> Luck. So yeah, actually most of uh, seller here, the, uh, what are you? 多少钱? 三十吗? 好,不理由 三十 好,就这些吧,可以不用找零钱了,谢谢 
不用嘛，不用不用，五折。好，谢谢 ，Thank you. Yeah, most of seller here, they're either come from China or they are like their ancestors are Chinese, so most of them speak very fluent Chinese. This cutie here, yeah, looks pretty good. I actually tried this for the first time in my life about like two weeks ago. Never know how it tastes like, and it turns out it's. Breaking good, so good. Oh, durian. Okay, so last stop, we're gonna get some chicken. So they have like three different type of chicken. That one is like I think in terms of flavor it is the best, but it's super super hard. You have to cook it for a very long time in order to make it soft. And this one probably um, healthy, I guess. And this one's like more chicken. So we're getting this one because I don't want to cook for that long. Okay. Uh, 多少钱？两百五。好。嗯，这个这个那个是贵是吧？是啊。你帮你拿一下呢。Two hundred and fifty. Hmm. Three hundred is more expensive. Three hundred. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we just should have brought this bag. Hello. This is my Thai bag. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's go home. Okay, we're back home now, and uh, I'm preparing all the food. So, all the girls gonna come in a minute. You know, the funny thing is, uh, before when I was living in China, I was never really cook at home. I was eating outside every day. But ever since I started to travel, I cook a lot, especially because Danny always liked to eat at home, you know, eat clean, eat healthy. So yeah, because of him, I started to have this habit of just cooking at home, cooking some simple meals. But in Chiang Mai, you can get all different type of sauce um, from China. So since moved to Chiang Mai, I have become like so obsessed about cooking. I'm leaving Thailand soon, so I'm really, really grabbing this last chance of, you know, I just, I just want to cook as much as I can. And I just love this feeling of sharing uh, all the food that I made with all the people I love. So yeah. So this is what I got prepared for tonight. Uh, we got those green chili. I don't know how you call this. It's like pea or something. And then we got eggplant. This is pork, and we're gonna do some salad as well. So it's gonna be very, very simple, but it'll be very, very good. Oh my god, the cucumber looks so amazing! I think we need to clean the table. <laughs> So I am frying as well. Just turn it off for a little bit. So I'm frying the last meal, which is the pork. And we're gonna fry with this. Do you know how to call this in English? What's that? Yeah, this is called sun pie. In English, it's also called sun pie. Sun pie. Yeah, I'm not even sure because we got this all of those veggies from the Chinese market. So they actually ship all the veggies, everything, fruits from China. So I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere else or maybe it's coming. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's supposed to be very good. I actually married it. This this should go down a little bit instead of going up. Going up. <laughs> I actually marinated this pork a little bit, so when I fry it, mm. it will be so like rich. Mm. It'll be very, very good. Mm -hmm. I also have this, so I'm gonna add this inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. I seriously feel like sometimes we're like Mexicans, you know? We like spicy food. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. And I'm gonna add this inside, just fry a little bit and then. We are good to go. Okay, I forgot garlic, but I think we'll be fine. Mm. Okay, I did. Mm. 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 Mm.
Whoa, this is bad. <laughs> the pot is a bit heavy. <laughs> I'm tricky. Thank you. 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 Do you like it? Mm. <laughs> Bianca's cooking skill is really. Yeah, I know. It's compared to the day crazy. one, <laughs> she was like too ashamed to. Yeah, I'm like, to do, have do you guys us. maybe want to try? But I'm not <laughs> sure if it's like fine. <laughs> now she's so confident. Uh huh. No, no, it's not for you. Sorry, I, I mean, it's so good. Happy, Bianca's calling you. Mm. Oh my god, so juicy. <laughs> So juicy. Animal cruelty. <laughs> Cubby, is there anything you want to say? Fuck <laughs> <Stop> that bitch. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video and make it this far. If you're new here, my name is Bianca. In early 2020, I left home for a week trip and ended up stuck outside of my own country. For the past two years, I've been gypsy around the world until I can get the ticket to fly back home. I use YouTube to document this incredible journey. In the beginning, it was just a place for me to storage all the good memories, but as time flies by, my pocket is getting smaller and smaller. Now, I treat YouTube as my full-time job and I'm working on it every single day. Recently, I have started my own Patreon. This is a place for people who ever want to support Support me on this journey or just simply wanted to encourage me to create more contents as YouTube income is really not stable. I'll put the link of my Patreon in the description box. Any amount is appreciated. No stress at all. Hope to see you there. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.